Today I will show you how you can create a basic glass material in the Unreal Engine 4. So first of all create the material. So do a right click, go to material and type in a name. Then go into the material editor and in here you can now either add a texture sample or a constant 4 vector for the base color. So I will use a constant 4 vector now. So we'll just type in corn and then I will drag and drop the constant 4 vector into my material editor. Now connect to this base color and then we have to add some values to those properties in here. So for R, we will type in 0.0005. At G, we have to type in 0.001. At B, we have to type in 0.000848. And at A, we have to type in 0.996. Okay, now we have to add a constant vector. Connect to this metallic. And type in a value from 0.1. Then copy it and connect to this roughness. Then we have to add another constant vector and connect to the specular and type in a value around 20 or 25. So we'll just use, let's say, 26 now. Okay, now we have to add two lerps. So press L and left mouse button and add two lerps. The first one has to be connected with opacity and the second one with refraction. And now we have to add some more constant vectors. So just drag and drop two of them into the level, or not into the level, into the material editor, and connect the first one with A from the first lobe, and the second one with B from the first lobe. Now the first constant vector from A, you have to type in 0.008, and at the second one you have to type in 0.9. Then just copy those, and connect it with the second lobe. So the first one to A, and the second one to B. Now we have to change some values. At the first one we have to type in 1.05 and at the second one we have to type in 0.95. Okay, now we just have to add a fras now. So type in fras, oops, fras, and choose the vector ops fras now. And connect the result with the alpha from the first lobe and with the alpha from the second lobe. Okay, now add another constant vector. So type in con, drag and drop the constant vector and connect it with power. And here we have to type in a value between 1.5 and 2. I will just use 1.5 now. Okay, that's it. Now down here in the properties, under blend mode you have to choose transcoolant. Then under transcoolancy, you have to disable the enable separate transcoolancy. And under transcoolancy light mode, you have to choose surface. And that's it. Now let's try it out. So click on to apply and drag and drop it to your mesh. Now it compiles and as you can see here it looks pretty realistic. Of course up here there's a little mystic in the mesh but the, the, the part at the bottom looks pretty good as you can see here. And yeah you can always add another texture sample to your material you can also adjust some values you can just play around a little bit then you will get a much better result but in my opinion this looks pretty realistic and pretty cool. Yeah thank you for watching and until next time.